What a treat. Our guest this week on Vikings Game Plan is interim offensive coordinator Kevin Stefanski into the Miami Dolphins game where we finally are home. The Vikings take on the Miami Dolphins. How about that, ma'am? Uh, Soldier Field uh, here against Green Bay, Sunday night, Sunday night, late game against uh, New England, get home after midnight, come back with Monday night football against Seattle. Coaches, players, that, that's a tough grind. That's the NFL. I mean, you're, you're up and down. You, sometimes you, you have to look at the schedule to figure out who you're playing next. But luckily, we're back in front of our fans this week. What led you to coaching in football? Oh, man, good question. Uh, I fell in love with the game at an early age. Played it, started in third grade, and um, just couldn't let it go. And they say those who can't play, play anymore, you coach. Yeah. I got a great room. I'm very fortunate uh, starting with, obviously, Kirk and Trevor and Kyle Sloter. It's a fun group, and when you're coaching quarterbacks, you, you peel the, the layers back a little bit yeah. more so than maybe other positions. So you get you really get into it, and you see how deep that rabbit hole goes, and there's a cerebral aspect of it. And then at the end of the day, it's football, and you got some uh, guys that are trying to learn and, and uh, play their best. What do you really enjoy about the game planning? It is fun. You know, getting back, we are teachers, so most of our job is preparing our guys to play uh, on Sundays. Then the other fun part is the X's and O's, the chess match, and you go into each game and each team presents different challenges. Um, some harder than others and some are scheme related, some are personnel related. So it's always fun to get in there on Monday morning and Tuesday and start to formulate that plan and, and kind of how can we attack this scheme. And then you Forget everything you just learned, and then you start anew come yeah. Monday. And Kevin has worked with some really interesting people, including Brett Favre. What, what do you remember about working with Brett? Oh, man, how much time do we have? Right, as um, much as you need. He, he's a special talent. Uh, the first time I saw him spin the ball out of his hands in that practice, first play out of the gate was Fox 2X on my hook, and he threw the skinny post uh, to Sidney Rice, and the ball was just humming mm. and spinning. The RPMs were incredible. And every, all of us did one of those like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, seeing it up close. Yeah. And then just what I really appreciate most about Brett, I think he was an awesome teammate. Yeah. His teammates loved him. Um, he was great in the locker room. He, just, he gave his time to them. And he was just a bigger than life personality and kept everything loose. And, and uh, I really appreciate it. And he really worked hard at the game planning part, right? I mean, that was very important to him. Oh, yeah. I can still see him. We'd get to the team hotel on Saturday night and he'd have his laptop with him. This was before the days when everybody had an iPad and yeah. he'd set up shop in his office in his hotel room and start watching some tape. So he, he was a student of the game. Now Case Keenum certainly is not Hall of Fame wise to the level of, of Brett Favre, but you know, you being the quarterback's coach, Case Keenum had some very, very good moments for this team last year, including the Minneapolis Miracle. What, what did you enjoy about working with Case? Case is a coach's dream in that he's a coach's son. So he, he is there to do whatever coaches want. Case uh, had a great line. He said, you, you call it, I ball it. Yeah. And he was there. He just wanted to play football. And, and he never got very far away from the fun, growing up, playing in third grade aspect yeah. of, of this game. That's what I appreciate about Case. And I'm pleased to see him having some success in Denver. What about Kirk, Kirk Cousins? Kirk, again, I mean, that's kind of a great group to uh, associate myself with. And, hmm. and Kirk, what a pro's pro. I mean, the guy comes to work and, and he knows his job. I'm half kidding, but he walks in here with a briefcase every day and he's coming to work and, and he's putting his work in and you should <laughs> see that he's got a, a pile of notes next to his desk in, in a storage bin and it's old game plans from years ago and, and the guy takes it seriously and as a coach, what more could you ask for than, than a guy that just wants information and wants to be coached and, and wants to be on top of, of his game as best he can and it's just, it's impressive to watch.